Hey everybody, John with a &J Outdoors and today I'm going to share with you what I use to record my videos, what I use to make my videos. A lot of times in the live streams we'll get talking about different cameras and gear and stuff like that and people getting suggestions so I figure I'll just put it all in a video. So I'm going to start with my the backbone of my uh, videoing is my GoPros, right? Uh, I'm actually short one right now. I got a friend that's working on one of them for me and they're not the brand new sevens and I guess the eights out now and all that. I've got a uh, Hero 3 Plus and Hero 4 and then the other one that's getting worked on is uh, another Hero 4. Um, the 3 Plus has got some issues but it's still recording so I'm still using it and the reason uh, I haven't upgraded is one it's expensive to upgrade so um, you gotta wait till we can afford to upgrade and two I've got a lot of great accessories to make these things work you can still find refurbished hero fours for about a hundred and fifty bucks or so I think was what I spent on this one so uh, if you got all the other stuff that goes with it it makes sense to go ahead and uh, continue to use them I think the video quality is just fine 1080p um, but uh, yeah eventually I'm gonna have to upgrade and move beyond the the fours the three and the four but that's the basics. So I've got my two. Now I've got all the normal accessories you get with them, the different cases and all that. So I'm not going to bore you with all that stuff. I'm going to share with you some of the things I do use. And one of the biggest things is this case right here. And all these things will be in the uh, description below. When you look at it on Amazon, right, it says it's for a, a four. But I have proven that a three works with it. And what it is, is it's a waterproof case. So when I'm out on my boat, I don't like to take stuff out there that's not waterproof because you're on a boat, right? Bad weather, waves, whatever, stuff gets wet. Uh, so I want to protect the stuff that I spend money on, and that's cameras for sure. So this guy has a little piece here that plugs right into the side of your GoPro, right, for your audio. And then the microphone is underneath this big piece here. So again, it's waterproof, and the audio from this is better than any other... I don't think there is another uh, microphone you can use with these GoPros, the 4 and the 3 Plus, uh, when they're in a waterproof container. I think this is your only option if you're going to keep them in that. Now, if you've got them in a skeleton or whatever, you can add you know, microphones. I'll talk about some of those. Matter of fact, I'm missing one that's not sitting out here, but I'll grab that in a little bit. Okay, But if you're going to use your GoPro in a waterproof case, this can't be beat. Right, this is the best one out there. So I've got two of these. And they also have a padding inside them that is removable depending on how you set it up. I like to have this uh, Wasabi Power Power Pack on the back of my uh, four, right? So it plugs into the back, I remove this pad, and then the whole camera still fits inside this case, okay, with the backpack on it. So it gives me more run time on that one. So. That, that's one of my favorite things I got for the GoPro. And then I've got assortment of the of the sticks, right? This is probably my favorite one just because it's so big, right? And see how long it'll go. GoPro goes right in there, right? Pretty big. And you just twist it to, to reduce it back down and lock it, okay? So that one's nice. And then I got a couple of the little ones that came with different accessory packs. So snorkeling and stuff, I like to use one of the smaller ones. I've uh, got the floating one, just in case. All right. Now, when I'm on the boat, uh, I've got, like I said, three GoPros. One's not here right now, but i got three. And I like to have them all on there. Either I'm wearing one and the other two are mounted on the boat or something like that. So one way I do that, the easiest way, is this guy right here, right? The clamp. Everybody's seen this, I'm sure. But clamp it on a rail anywhere you want, ain't face it wherever you want. It's very versatile. Take it off the rail and carry it around and use it. Talk to it, take it off the rail, carry it around to show stuff. Heck, put it underwater if you want, if you got a waterproof case on your camera. So very versatile. So this guy's always with me. Always with me. Alright. Now the other thing I did on the boat is I found a ram mount. Okay, and this is it. And you had to you had to put this together yourself with some glue and stuff, but it has the two ends. This end, right, is what mounts on the boat. So I've got one of those round, the little knobs, I don't know what they're called for the ram mounts. I got two of those on my boat, one at the very front and one in the very back. So I can mount this on there, and then this end is where the camera goes. And then, of course, because you loosen these guys up and it makes it all flexible, 
right? And you can change your angle however you want, okay? So that's what, usually when I'm on the boat and you see a, a camera angle from, from the back of the boat facing forward, it's usually on this guy, okay? So that's pretty much that. What else do I need to show you from the GoPro gear? Of course, some of this stuff isn't GoPro only, but I'm gonna show you uh, the hat, right? I've worn some of my videos, you'll see it. I'm still not 100% whether the hat or the chest mount is better. I've done both. And I'll probably still do both. It'll depend on the situation. Sometimes one's easier to wear than the other. So this is the chest mount, right? And that was the hat mount. So those are mounts. I always take those with me wherever I'm going just so I know I have them. And I got those options. Um, lighting, okay? So this is probably gonna blind you, boom, right? This one is adjustable. I can crank it down. Okay, and then the cover is magnetic, comes off like that. And then the battery cover is magnetic and you just switch it around. Now this one becomes a battery cover and now I've got that, that yellow. I don't know why you even use that one. Hey, I'm not an expert at this stuff, so anytime I say something that you guys have an answer for, drop it in the comments before below and I'll, I'll appreciate that. But I don't know why you would use this amber lens, but it's there, it comes with it, so that's cool. But again, those are more than just for the GoPro. Um, my newest and most exciting thing I've got for the GoPro is a power stick, all right? So on the boat, you've got a front light, right? Plug, well, mine does, some they're built in, fancy boats. Mine, you got a plug-in front light and a plug-in back light. This power pole uses that power source and plugs in, right? And now it'll, it can power your GoPro. This did not come with it, okay? So this is a skeleton box that I bought separately. And you notice it's skeleton plus it has a little thing so you can mount a, a, a camera or a, I mean a, a little light on it or a microphone on it, okay? And it has the side ports open so you can get it, uh, put, hook up your microphone to it. But this thing, the power stick, Okay, so it plugs into your light thing. So it runs off your boat. And if you look on the front here, we've got two ports, right? Those are the ports, okay? So I can plug stuff into this. So I can plug a cord from here to my camera and keep my camera charged, right? And I could plug a phone into that, whatever I want to charge, all right? Um, and then I went and found something that I thought was even more cool Okay, so with that set up, your basic plug on the side, right? You're gonna have a battery still in the camera. And the one thing, cause you can run it all day if you want off your boat camera battery, but the one thing is you can overheat the camera and that happens, especially down here in South Texas when it's really hot outside. Um, so I found a way to help avoid that, okay? And that's this cord here, all right? And again, all this stuff will be down below. But if you look at that, come on, shh, focus on it. Focus. All right, that plugs into the back. So I have to have it in a skeleton box, so it's not gonna be in a waterproof one. So that's the risk I gotta take, but it plugs into the back of the camera. And then the other end, of course, plugs into my pole. All right, so this eliminates the need for a battery inside the camera. So now I'm running the GoPro with no battery in it, run it strictly off the battery off my boat, okay? And I can run it all day long. So no more having to, ooh, turn the, batter, turn the camera off so we can save some battery. Oh, I got a good fish. Oh, I forgot to turn the camera on. That kind of stuff shouldn't happen anymore, okay? And, and one thing I'm gonna do to make that more plausible is the electrical work I'm doing on the boat. If you guys haven't seen any of those videos, I'll put a, uh, a little link up here if you're interested, but I'm separating power system so i'm going to have a battery house battery for everything including this and a battery for the motor so when i'm running all this and uh, my graph and all that are electronics on the boat none of that is draining my motor uh the battery for my motor okay and that's just a safety feature i think and so that's what i'm going to be installing real soon the other thing cool about this is So I can get this thing up in the air a little way. So different angles is what I'm looking for. So now I've got this camera on the boat. I've got the clip-on camera on the boat. And then when I get my other GoPro back, I've got a camera either on my head or on my chest. So I've got three different angles uh, 
to work with when I'm putting together my, my video, you know, my footage. So I'm really excited about that. Um, if you looked at my fishing video with my brother, you probably saw this on the boat and I did have a camera on here and recorded from it, I believe. Um, but it was not running off of the boat battery because I forgot the cable. So it was running off its own battery. So it can still do that, but that's not what I bought it for. I bought it so that I can run it off of the boat battery. Okay, so I'm really excited about that. That's my newest GoPro thing, and I'm super pumped about that. All right, next. <clears throat> next is something that is, again, a all-around thing, right? I can use it with any of my cameras. I've started using it more and more, and this is one that Infantry Outdoors, if you guys aren't uh, on his channel yet, I will put a link down below, but Infantry Outdoors... Uh, did uh, did even did a uh, video on using this kind of stuff. That's why I never did a video about this uh, because he already did it. Um, but what he hooked me up on was this Sony recorder, okay? Sony recorder so that my audio, like when I have that directional uh, Rode mic or any of those kind of mics, the Movo that I have, it's directional. If I'm holding the camera to somebody and they talk, it hears them. But if I'm talking, it's not coming over a camera well. Or even if I'm using one like this and I'm at the back of the boat near the camera, it hears me well. But my brother or Joel or whoever at the front of the boat, it doesn't pick up their audio very well. This thing does a better job of all of that. Well, this thing does. Okay. So it's this in addition to this microphone, which is also a Sony microphone. I don't know if you guys can see that but it clips on it has a left and right because it's stereo and you just run you clip it here run it down through and put that thing so far I've been putting it in my pocket I have not used this on the boat yet I'm still a little nervous about it getting wet um, infantry outdoors assures me because of wind noise he's assures me that if you clip it on under your shirt somehow you know where it's up underneath right that your shirt provides that barrier and protection from wind noise um, I do have some, uh, they call them dead cats that you put over a, a microphone, but I, got, I guess they're dead mice because they're real small ones um, that I could put over the ends of this and I might just because of that possibility. So I've been using this in my product reviews, my installs on the boat, but I haven't used it out on the boat yet, but I plan to. We've got a fishing trip coming up this coming weekend down to the coast me and Joel and Shay are going so I'm definitely going to add this to my arsenal for down there okay for for recording our voices because he assures me he does he has an example in one of his videos where he's interviewing two other people and he just has that thing clipped to him and you can hear all of them just fine talking so uh, I've been impressed with that I have to turn the volume down on it because it's so strong it picks up my breathing which you don't want to hear <sighs> all time during my video so uh kudos inventory i do like that thing i'm gonna get it out there all right so the next thing i record with but probably least with is my cell phone right and this is a samsung galaxy s9 um i do have it where i've got this guy to put it on okay i put the phone in there do, do, do. Get in there, you. Clamp it down. Okay. I can mount the lights on it. All right. I can mount the other light if I want. I can mount my microphone on it. Uh, and then I can put it on my tripod, which I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. I'm actually using the tripod on my last camera, which will go over last. And our camera we'll use to go over it with will be this one to shoot it. Okay. So this it's great just like this right got a light here i got a microphone i can walk around video whatever i want or put it on that tripod and boom you're set right okay so that's again i don't do a lot of video from my camera um just because i'm using the gopros i guess and then when i got a situation where i don't want to use a gopro i've got the camera we're shooting on right now which we'll talk about in a minute okay now this is also generic though it's mainly used for the camera that we're talking on right now, but it could be used for any one of these that can go on a tripod. So this is my big tripod. When I'm out doing the boat uh, installs and repairs, 
this is the, typically the tripod I'm using, right? So legs out, okay? They all extend, boop, 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 right? Gets nice and tall for me, which is good for looking over the side of the boat when it's looking in the boat at me. Of course, uh, loosen it up. Got all the adjustments, right? This is made by Tack Life. And uh, it'll be in the, all this stuff's in the description below, so don't worry about that. But we're gonna use this next with the, uh, my uh, phone, right? To video my last camera that we're gonna talk about. So let's do that right now. All right, so I'm off my big camera that I'm about to show you. I'm on the phone right now. <clears throat> and I'm using this re voice recorder, right? So I don't have the microphone hooked to the phone because I want to show you the microphone. So this is the microphone I run with it typically, right? It's got the dead cat on it. It's a Movo. It's very similar to the uh, Rode Go mic or whatever, the small Rode mic. Very similar, they compare very well, uh, but this one was a little less expensive. And there were a few comparisons where I said it was a little better. So I, I bought a Rode mic, you can see that review. Uh, maybe I'll throw it up over here, but that one was not a good microphone. I don't suggest it. Uh, had a lot of issues with it. So uh, this one, I didn't buy the Go one though, the one that compares to this, I did not buy. All right, <clears throat> so my last piece of video equipment is my Canon T6i, right? Uh, I really, really like this thing. Um, but I will be the first to admit I am an amateur with it. I do not use it to the fullest of its capabilities because I don't understand them all yet. Um, I've watched a lot of videos. I've made some uh, adjustments that people said and uh, I always go back to auto. The good, great thing about this is if you put it on auto, nine times out of 10, if you're shooting a picture or, or a video, uh, you're gonna get a good picture or video. So. Um, my videos where I'm working on the boat, when I'm doing intros and extros at the house, uh, and some of the road stuff, but not on the boat. I've never taken it on the boat because I, this was the most expensive piece of equipment I have. Uh, and it took me a while to pay for this guy and I can't afford to uh, get it wet or destroy it in any way. So I'm very, very careful with it. And, um, <clears throat> I don't have its other little case I usually put it in. But so it came with this uh, lens and that's the main lens I use. It captures everything I need to capture. It does have some extras, right? It came with a little, and a link to the camera will be uh, below if you're interested. Um, but there's uh, a fisheye lens, a wide lens, a couple other lenses in there. And then the filters I had, when I was just shooting it just now, I had the UV filter on it, right? So I got two of those screw on lenses. I got the great big lens. This is for go reaching out there and, and, and catching stuff. Now this is the only one that's not made by Canon. And the other thing about this one is those others have autofocus on them uh, where this one doesn't have autofocus on it. So um, I, be honest with you, <laughs> I haven't used this lens yet. Right for what I'm doing, I'm under. I'm, I'm sure if I was bird watching. I want to get a picture of a bird over there, a distance away, and make it look a lot closer. This is probably the lens for that, right? Um, but that's just not what I do or have done yet. So that's pretty much the end of that. Um, what else we got in here? That's pretty much the charger, right? So we usually have this microphone mounted on that camera mounted on either the well I should I use the wrong uh, <laughs> I use the wrong tripod I want to show you the other tripod all right this is the main tripod that we already showed you so I'm going to take that camera off of that tripod just so I can show you that tripod right now all right so the last thing I want to show you is this little jobby tripod. A lot of people use this tripod out there. I got the suggestion uh, for the life of me. I can't remember a fellow YouTuber though. And I see a ton of people use this. I had another one um, that I did a review on and said, don't buy it because it was junk and it was. And so I looked around, found what YouTubers were using. It was this jobby here, which again will be down below. This is a great tripod. It has never failed me. The legs are flexible so you can bend it around stuff wrap it you can give it a little curve right 
So now I can hold the camera out like this, right? Looking at me and la 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 la, right? So uh, I really like this guy. Another nice feature for this one is if you really, you know, outdoor filming, not as big an issue, but if you want that perfect level picture, right? The mounting piece slides out of it. It's got a level on it. So you screw it, right? In on the bottom of your camera, right? So that that level sticking out the back and then you slide it in here. And then when you set it up, you got that level and you can either adjust the legs to make it level or you got a little knob on the side here and this little ball, right? Turns wherever you want it to turn, okay? So that's how you can, so if you're really worried about getting a good uh, level uh, video or picture, if you're taking a picture, that's the way to do it, okay? So that's my favorite tripod for out there doing stuff, right? Um, the big one I don't take with me as often, but the big one is the one the, cam the, the phone is on right now, right? And if I'm out there shooting around the boat, doing anything on the boat, uh, you know, work-wise, the big tripod is what I use because I can bring it way up high to look in the boat and I can bring it way down low like it is right now. Not much taller than that. Well, a little bit taller, but not much taller. All right, folks, so that is an overview of the bulk of my uh, video and audio equipment. I'm using uh, PowerDirector uh, 17 for my uh, production, right? That's why I upload my clips into and edit everything, match up my audio with my video if I'm using this guy like I am right now, which I thought would be a pain in the butt, but really isn't that big of a deal. It's not that hard at all. And uh, Infantry Outdoors has a video on that as well. So um, that's gonna wrap it for us today, guys. If you, pre if you like this video, do me a favor, give me that thumbs up. I appreciate those a lot comments i love you want to talk about what you use if there's something you're using that would help me i'm all for it let me know in the comments below uh, if you want more information on any of this stuff hit me with a comment and i'll, I'll get back to you for sure um, also if you're new here and haven't seen uh my videos or haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? It doesn't cost you nothing. Hit the subscribe button. There's a little notification bell, right? There's an example right here on the screen somewhere. Uh, click on that sucker, and then when I upload my next video, boom, you'll be notified about it, okay? So that's subscribe, thumb, notification bell. If you're an old hat to AJ Outdoors, you've been here a while, you watch all my videos, you're like, this guy is great, and I love what he does. Hey, help me out. Let's make this channel better. Let's work together, right? Check out my Patreon link down below, right? There's a way where you can be a part of AJ Outdoors, right? And you get something back in return. You get to see stuff that other people don't see. You might get some products that other people don't get, right? Um, and you get to help AJ Outdoors grow. Uh, you already saw the GoPros I have. I'm four generations behind the current GoPro. Uh, and the other thing I really want to add to my video capabilities is a uh, drone, right? That's probably the next big one that I'm going to get. But I probably got to upgrade the GoPros before I get that. We'll see. But those are all things that the Patreon system helps with, right? If you guys jump on board with my Patreon. It can be as little as a dollar a month, right? All right, folks. That's it. I'm done. We'll catch you next time. And until next time, peace out.